Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder production. I am so fucking proud to present to you... A PC-13 game. Blake Stone, Aliens of Fucking Gold. Jam Productions is Michael Maynard, James T. Rowe, and Jerry KKK Jones. Get ready, Blake, because we're going to fuck shit up. All right, let's get set up here. Controls. Uh, joystick. Fuck a mouse. Full view, baby. Switches, I got switches for the bitches. We're going to set this up. Just like... Wolfenstein. Well, at least we're going to fucking die trying. Grab his gamepad. There we go. Instructions. Let's look at the story. Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold, the story thus far. Reba, working, inquiry. File site profile, related info, file open. Reba, accessing. The facts bear out. I will not theorize or, in Blake's words, chatter unless relevant to the inquiry. The known universe is growing rapidly. Recent Victorate colonization is expanding the borders of the planetary system, almost beyond effective control. There are equal, unlimited opportunities for good or for evil. In that vein, for it is relevant to Blake's motivation, I will continue. Robert Will Stone III was born in Old London, England, Earth, on July 2, 2114. The first born of twin children to Elizabeth Anderson Stone and Robert Will Stone II, deceased. He was nicknamed Blake to avoid an obvious confusion. At 18, upon Blake's final university year, a bomb ripped through a transit shuttle outside the family's summer home in New South Wales. The debris showered the walk with blasted alloy and injured hundreds of bystanders. Fortunately for Robert Will Stone II, death was instantaneous. Elizabeth Stone was not as fortunate. Physically and emotionally scarred, she had been under the care of Blake Blake's sister, Sarah Elizabeth Stone. Miss Stone and Sarah reside on Ceylon, a terraformed planetoid at the far edge of the Sol System asteroid belt. In the time since the family tragedy, Sarah has been intensely studying the roots of evil which she believes underlie all human behavior. Her career, research, genetics. But as Blake would say, Bloody chata, Reba! Get back to the inquiry! Similarly motivated with an equal share of the stone determination, Blake chose a career in the British Royal Navy. At age 22, he led forces in Operation New London, a fierce struggle to reclaim that outpost colony. The battle cost a few of his forces lives. The rebels were destroyed. Blake was awarded the Kindred Medal of Honor and promoted to the position of Special Operations Commander. Following the New London conflict, there have been numerous battles. In each campaign, Blake Stone was successful. 
It was his exemplary record which caught the eye of his majesty and the king council. Public archives record, record that after eight years of heroic service and at the age of 26, Robert Willstone III would retire from the Royal Navy. Public archives, however, do not record that he entered the British intelligence as Agent Blake Stone. Related info stoned, current assignment, the Star Institute. Accessing. Only sparse records can be gleaned from Ceylon or the Star Institute. The planetoid is outside the Dectorate sphere of influence. I find references to the Dr. Pyrus W. Goldfire, the Star Director. It would appear data bank information on this individual has been altered or amended. I find no record of his birth and no reference to living relatives. Searching academic credentials for Goldfire Pyrus W. Accessing. These files appear to be altered as well among the data which I'm able to restore. A reference to the Associate Genetic Professorship at Coral University. His contract was terminated 18th January in 2130 due to part to dispute over the ownership of the license of a genetic research discovery. Data restoration fails to provide additional information. However, many personal log entries exist. The journal appears to grow increasingly irrational, and it's punctuated with outbursts of paranoid, ranting fits of chatter. The most recent entry is specifically directed at the agent and refers to him by nickname Question Mark Data Flag. 23rd September of 2140. The Dectorate of Sending Stone, the assistance of their best operative? Ha! <laughs> you couldn't conceive in your wildest dreams what I have accomplished. Blake, I'll have a few surprises for you. I'll show you, Blake, and then I'll show the galaxy. The law continues, but I believe you get the gist of the chatter. Assessment. Goldfire is planning Agent Stone's demise. It would seem the Doctor has an evil prescription for the planetary system as well. Blake Stone is en route to the Star Institute. That is insufficient to make further assessment regarding the inquiry. Let's fuck shit up. Welcome to Mission 1, Star Institute. S novice, hey, I look like a little bit skilled. Expert and fucking veteran. Well, this seems to be the normal level. It's the default level anyways, and that's what level we'll be playing on. Agent Stone reports confirm that Goldfire is aware of your arrival. My sensors indicate the movement toward the ninth floor shuttle bay. Sir, I can only extrapolate from the past behavior to determine Goldfire's current intent. Assessment. Dr. Goldfire plans to flee the Institute. He realizes your threat to his plan and perceives an increased measure of personal safety in the floating fortress. Control of greater destructive capabilities is certain as well. Proceed to Floor 9, kill the spider mutant guardian alien of the Star Institute, and take the shuttle to the next link to Goldfire's operation, the floating fortress. You'll receive additional instructions when you arrive at the fortress complex. Informant biotechs have been located throughout the Star Institute. Information, ammo, and tokens may be obtained from these individuals. If I may offer an opinion, think before you shh. Yes, sir. Good luck, sir. And thus begins our journey. Get ready, Blake. We're about to balls to the walls. Fucking groovy. Holy shit, it takes forever to save a fucking game. Oh. All right, control seems all fucked up. That's awesome. Intruder! Guard! 
Intruder! Medic! <laughs> oh, intruder! You're gonna need a lot more than a medic, asshole. I just blew a fucking hole through your chesticle. So you can see the little- ah! You just shot an informant. Only shoot biotechs that shoot at you. Do not shoot informants. Whatever. How the fuck was in my way? I don't know what I'm doing. Try it again, fuck. In intruder! Medic! Intruder! Intruder! What do you mean? That motherfucker was shooting at me before. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> I'll get the hang of this shit. I didn't know. I didn't realize I wasn't allowed to blow away everybody in my fucking Medic! face. Intruder! Intruder! Medic! Pretty sure I saw a fucking sign of shit. Intruder! Oh, we got serious gold.
This is definitely a little bit different than Wolfenstein. I'm used to just being able to blow the shit out of everybody. Alright, starting to get the hang of this shit. scientist. Nothing beats raw meat. to get used to the new wall texture of the horse. Oh. oh well an informant got shot and that's just too fucking bad. Oh 
Holy shit! Go, bitch. <laughs> Fucking eat my shit, son. But I'm fucking talking about, baby. Looks like we might only be getting one map done at a time here. I'm slow. All kinds of secrets and shit. I just fucking work here. You're dead. Intruder! Medic! Fucking treasure for the first level. Oh, 
Saving my game, bitch! <laughs> this is basically like a goddamn rocket launcher. I got the rocket launcher already. thousand fucking extra points. Oh, my God. 
Fucking clue where I'm going. Uh, so if you hit tab, it gives you a little auto map. percent performance live hundred I don't fucking know all right ran out of memory that's fucking hard. all right so don't know why it crashed because that's what I'm supposed to do is get the red key card and continue Piece of goddamn shit, dude. decided to work. So I guess we're going to floor two. And that wraps it up for this video, folks. Bear with me while I learn to replay Blake Stone and Alien's motherfucking gold. See you next time for floor number two. And I'll be showing the maps just like I was doing in the Wolfenstein 3D LP of each of the levels as we go through them. This is the first floor in an isometric 3D view. Enjoy it, baby.